one-fifth of the world's energy goes on running fridges and air conditioning units. They're often inefficient, energy hungry, and they can leak greenhouse gases into the air. Then it stretch it quickly. So now a Cambridge team so it's gone really hot. has yep. come up with an alternative. And then oh, it's really cold. That's amazing. I will explain the balloon thing in a second. First, you need to know that fridges and air conditioning units currently work by expanding and then squashing gases. The Cambridge team is looking to replace that gas with more eco-friendly solids. It's complex work, but you can show it with a simple experiment and a thermal camera. Like with a balloon, if you expand the new materials quickly, they go white, which means hot, squash them quickly, and they go black, which means cold. Here are some of the materials they hope will one day replace gases in the back of our fridges. So they'll load them into the machine and then they'll squeeze them and stretch them to see what happens. So the impact can be potentially tremendous because if we can actually find a solid material that can replace altogether the gases that we use in vapor compression fridges and air conditioning systems, we can hope to have a technology that is both environmentally friendly and much more energy efficient. So they've developed organic materials that work just as well as gas, but without the potentially harmful leakage. It's still early days, but it could lead to fridges and aircon units that devour much less energy One, two, and are better for the environment. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge.